look at how is a bond between a carbon let's say or any other element formed a carbon shares its electron with something else and it forms a bond like this right we get we get what we get two shared electrons in the middle which forms the bond pair sure. now by any kind of a reagent if we are able to send the electron of carbon to carbon and we are able to send the electron of a to a okay the arrows we do not show this arrows let me change the arrows we show a fish hook arrow we show a which arrow fish hook arrow fish hook arrow so carbon has got its electron back carbon has got its electron back yeah. a has got its electron back hmm. this type of fission is known as a homolytic fission okay so basically the electrons are just going back to their places exactly but a heterolytic fission okay what will happen is if i have my carbon let's say i have an a i have a b i have a c oh cannot be a c i have a d and i have a e so carbon has its own electrons and then we have the electrons of the other ones now we create a reagent which will force both the electrons to shift to one side so this type of a bond this type of a breakage of the bond where both the uh, bond pairs move to only one direction is known as our heterolytic fission theek hai ji where the bond pairs go to only one side so oh. सो इसके पास इसके पास कार्बन का भी इलेक्ट्रॉन आ गया वन एक्स्ट्रा इलेक्ट्रॉन सो दिस विल बिकम नेगेटिवली चार्ज कार्बन हैज लॉस्ट इट्स ओन इलेक्ट्रॉन सो कार्बन विल बिकम पॉजिटिवली चार्ज ओके सो कैन यू गिव मी लाइक एन एग्जांपल ओके लेट्स गिव यू एन एग्जांपल आई विल शो इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ बॉन्ड नाउ ओके we have let's say a carbon with a ch3 here a ch3 here and a ch3 here and a chlorine here okay so chlorine has its own six electrons out here then chlorine has given one electron for the bond here and the carbon has given one electron for the bond here now chlorine is more electronegative so it has a tendency to pull the electrons more towards itself yeah now when so i add ah, when i add a reagent what happens both the electrons shift towards chlorine i just apply a little force and both of them go that side so now what has happened is carbon ke paas apna ye bond hai nothing happened to this bond nothing happened to this bond nothing happened to this bond but the fellow lost its own electron so, so when positive. positive delta positive not delta positive pura positive because pura electron has been lost not a part of the electron okay and the chlorine has gained carbon's electron also chlorine ke paas seven electrons hone chahiye the it has gained carbon's electrons also so iske paas negative charge aa jayega okay and the third one we can start from here only whenever That you carbonate. yeah carbocation whenever a hydrocarbon has a positive charge on the carbon it is known as a carbocation theek hai it is known as what a carbocation 
you know a cation is anything that goes a ion that goes to the cathode yeah. cathode is negatively charged so mm -hmm. the ion will be positively charged okay no so what is how is carbocation related to this no this thing is known as a carbocation okay, the whole thing okay yeah okay, yeah. okay. Now, excluding the CL part, is it? Excluding the CL part. Ion in yoga fit. Agar CL part a gaya, so then it is not an ion. Okay. Yeah. Now, now we have three types of carbocation. One fellow is known as a primary carbocation. The second fellow is known as a secondary carbocation. And the third fellow is known as a tertiary carbocation symbolically we show them as a one degree two degree and three degree and for learning one means the carbon that has the positive charge has only one carbon as its neighbor see the one that is attached there is only one carbon as its neighbor Baki could be anything. Baki could be an H out here. So this type of a carbocation is known as a primary carbocation. Okay. Okay. But if the carbon that has the positive charge has two nearest carbon atoms as its neighbors, then it is known as a secondary carbocation. If you can see out here, the carbon which has the positive charge is flanked by two carbons on either side. So this is a secondary carbocation. But if a carbon is flanked by three neighboring carbons and it has a positive charge, then it would be known as? A tertiary carbon yeah tertiary. okay the name is tertiary symbolically we write it as a one degree two degree three degree okay so you can see that the carbon has three other carbons as its neighbors now now let's talk about the stability an iron is stable okay an iron is stable if the charge on it is somehow decreased if you can decrease the charge on it it becomes stable okay now whatever is present on this side is known as the alkyl group okay so alkyl group is an electron donating group electron donating it is what electron donating yeah in some books the word will be used electron releasing so when it donates the electrons electrons would decrease the positive charge a little bit because electron density positive ki taraf aa hai ab here the electron density is coming from two sides. Electron density is coming from two sides. So mm. the positive charge would decrease a little more. And here yeah. the electron density is coming from mm. three sides. Electron density from here. So if it's decreasing, then it would become neutral. Isn't it? No, if the full positive is removed, then it will become neutral. Only a little bit of negative charge, the delta negative fundamental. Mm -hmm. Okay, so only a little bit of electron density is coming. The full electron is not coming. Okay. Now, pe mujhe ye batao. Kaha pe positive charge is the least? Primary, secondary, tertiary. Where did the positive charge decrease the most? In 
ഹോമോലൈറ്റിക് ഹൈട്രോലൈറ്റിക് ആൻഡ് ദ കാർബോക്കറ്റയൻസ് പാർട്ട് 